Welcome to the Deflux for VUR YouTube channel. I'm Kerry Red, Training and Education Lead for Palette Life Sciences. Today we're joined by my friend, Hal Schurz. Well, Hal, you've mentioned in, in past episodes when we've talked about managing uh, vesico ureteral reflux or commonly urinary reflux. And you stated in a previous episode that when indicated for children, you have a, a preference for the product Deflux. And of course, that's our sponsor. If you could just tell us some about Deflux and about your preference, I think that would help everyone to understand. Carrie, um, again, thank you for having me. And uh, thank you, parents, for uh, tuning in and listening to this uh, podcast on vesicoureteral reflux, urinary tract infections in children. Um, when We've made uh, a diagnosis of reflux, and we have an option about how to manage this problem surgically. The, the question really becomes, why wouldn't you use deflux? That's what I always say. In fact, I had this conversation just today with one of my partners. And it, it is such an easy way to manage this problem and it's better for the children for so many reasons, which we'll get into. But just to answer your question, deflux is um, a, a substance that's essentially complex sugars. It's dextronomer and hyaluronic acid. For parents, that mean, that's a big mouthful. But it's, it's important just to understand that these are substances that the body sees and recognizes and does not interact with. So it's a very safe product, but yet very durable and, and long lasting. And, uh, and so when done correctly, applied correctly uh, it, with children who have the right indications, this is an incredibly useful alternative to managing deflux or reflux, sorry, and, um, and uh, uh, addressing this and, and uh, trying to correct it rather than having to go to open surgery. Great. Al, could you just give a little bit of, uh, of insight about maybe the procedure and some of the advantages? You bet. So, when, when we decide that we are going to treat a child with deflux to correct their reflux, what we're telling parents is that we're um, going to be able to manage this problem far easier than with open surgery. Of course, open surgery is just that. It requires an incision. Deflux doesn't. Deflux is introduced into the bladder through an instrument called the cystoscope, which is a telescope that we insert into the urethra, into the bladder. We visualize where the ureters, the, the, uh, the tubes that transport urine into the bladder, enter. And then we um, perform a procedure where we um, inject the deflux into the space under the ureter. And in Atlanta, we have pioneered what's called a double hit technique, which is um, uh, two injections, one that is on the floor of the ureter, and the other is um, where the ureter enters the bladder. And by doing this procedure with um, uh, two injections and using an adequate volume in our hands, we've been able to achieve a 94% success rate in correcting reflux grades two to four and grade one. Grade one reflux, we don't specifically um, go to deflux, but we will uh, uh, treat grade one reflux uh, in one ureter when we're dealing with higher grade reflux in the other ureter. It's a 20 minute outpatient procedure, which um, does require a general anesthesia, but it is um, a procedure that has little to no post-operative side effects. 
Occasionally, a child may have some bladder spasms right afterward. If they do, we can typically recognize them before they go home and manage it with medication. Otherwise, they will just um, go home that, that same day and um, be able to go back to school the next day. The parents will be able to go to work the next day. And that's a far superior way to manage this problem than in a child who needs to have an open procedure at least one day in the hospital, often many more, with a recuperation that can last several weeks in some children, and um, loss of school, loss of work for parents, and, um, and more side effects. So my feeling and the feeling of my partners here in Atlanta is what do you have to lose? Because the, the downside of doing a deflux injection is so minimal. There are very few um, complications that we see with deflux. Some people would um, have you believe that there's a high uh, failure rate, which there's not. Some people would have you believe that there's a high um, uh, complication rate, like um, obstruction of flow of urine from the bladder into the uh, from urine th through the ureter into the bladder, and it just not has not been our experience. So, once again, I I tell parents what the upside is, what the downside is, which is really very minimal, and I tell them that if we if we um, decided that we would um, initiate treatment with a deflux injection that um, most of the time, this is curative. Most of the time we expect that this is a permanent durable response and very few children come back with infections or recurrent reflux. Well, Hal, thank you for sharing that experience and, and, and showing that, that in your hands and your experience, uh, and that of your colleagues, deflux has stood the test of time. 